Line ball to be taken by Jason Ford. He's already got one point in the game from a very long range free. Flies in there. Mannion trying to get to it. Boric Mannion moving it forward quickly. Helped out there by Darren Morrissey. And then it's Garrod McInerney down towards Keanon Fahey. Swinging the stick to it but not making the contact to Ferreri's line ball. Brad O'Mara wants to take it quickly, does so. It reaches Alan Tynan. Tynan looks at the target, hits it beautifully. Lovely score. Tynan's first. Team's level again, level for the third time. Yeah, Joe, one of the finds of the season. And uh, how good has he scored and proficiency rate been all year? Like, I mean, his level of, of, of uh, white flag raised to shots, I'd say, is very, very high. He doesn't need any space and it's really playing with confidence. Man of the match in the game against Cork down at Fork Equive some weeks ago. Into the hands here of Kianon Fahey from that puck out. Keeps it away from the challenge. Felt confident hitting that one, but uh, it drifts and it's gone to the left. Second miss by a Galway player. Rhys Shelley was part of the It's Given Cup winning squad for UL. Along with uh, Brian O'Mara. In the middle of the field right now, it is Sean Lennon. Helped out here by Brian Concanon. The final shot is by Joseph Cooney looking at his handiwork from outside the 65 meter line. And well, he might. It's a beauty. Joseph Cooney. Yeah, had a massive shooting day against Dublin when, when they made the comeback, Joe, and just didn't fire for him in the Leinster final, but that's a great score. Battle over here involving Jason Ford and Dohi Burke. And Ford got the shot, but. Uh, He's gone out, he stepped oh, out there, yeah. Yep. Nice one on the far side. Quick to spot that. But he is so important, Jason Ford, uh, so critically important to their forward line. They are such a, a much more slick outfit when he is part of that. Line ball over there will be uh, taken in just a moment by Cahill Mannion. Played really well in the game against Kilkenny in the Leinster final just two weeks ago. Hugely enjoyable contest that afternoon. That's knocked down in the middle of the park. Onto it quickly. Here comes Michael Breen reveling in the freedom. He's going to get Noel McGrath. Picked up the pieces then, but couldn't steer it over the crossbar. And that's Tiff's second wide. Again, I tell you, Cahill be a little bit disappointed with the return so far, Gerard. They've created a nice bit. Doesn't look to be a massive threat yet from inside, but of course they'll only take one ball. Still sorting one another out in this match, I think. Here's Dan McCormack, kept the ball in play, even though he's shouldered well. Gave it to Brian O'Mara, left-sided away, down towards Seamus Calder. Trying to win the duel over there with Garroyd McInerney. McInerney battling strongly, holding on. He was being fouled anyway. Free out, that'll be a very tasty duel there. Seamus Calder, who scored his 40th championship goal of the match last weekend. Goalkeeper out there, Anna Murphy, to belt it away downfield, down towards Conor Whelan, who hasn't really got into the match so far, being tightly marked. Over it comes towards Noel McGrath, beautifully inside to Dan McCormack from Boris Ali. Drops short, collected here by Anna Murphy again, looks up quickly to see just who's on, who's available. McInerney. Had Joseph Cooney to his left, goes long instead, down towards Whelan this time. Trying to win the race, but who gets there first? It's Cahill Barrett. Then it's Noel McGrath. McGrath steadies himself inside his own 65-meter line before striking it and striking it to the right. That's another one that's gone astray. Yeah, they will be just concerned a little bit. Like, you back Noel to score every time. Superb defensive de display by Barrett there. No hurley. I think Whelan might have had the hurley, but he still came away with the ball. Uh, but Noel, yeah, just needs to get the radar in. Anna Murphy has the opportunity of going short again to Darren Morrissey, to prepare to surrender that puck out, force Galway to work it downfield, and then to be able to mop it up at the back here. There are plenty of players back and Barrett is able to launch the next one. Down it goes there towards Mark Kyo. But again, the extra Galway men back in defence, making sure that nothing comes of that immediately. Kept back in play again here. Nice ball won there by Jake Morris, and as it was given to Dan McCormick, the referee had blown his whistle. Might have been an advantage. Just a little trip by Jack Grealish as he was about to turn and get away to pass, I think. 
that's the cause of John Keenan I think anyway yeah and yeah, a good bit of aimless ball being tucked up and down the field from both sides uh, Ger, both kind of defensively set up uh, a lot of punching and a crowd are playing in the middle of the field but the ball into both sets of forwards needs to be better it's almost as if they each have extra players back Jason Ford's going to hit this and that's not his best that's a fourth wide by Tipperary they trail Galway by four points to three match yet to catch fire this time it is Connor Stakelham coming across winning this one getting by the first challenge which was a little clumsy by Brian from Cannon and a free once again so these stoppages now for frees upsetting the fluency of the game yeah and that's just a silly one by Brian Cannon really because you know, Ford okay I put the hex on him now but he won't keep missing like you know so giving him free pucks from back around here is, is, is silly because there was nothing on really for Galway there well he scored from this dis distance uh, earlier on in the match so Jason Ford has had plenty of practice and that one has gone over nicely done after a couple of misses it's level for the fourth time and a Murphy uh, second time playing against Tipperary in the championship for Galway and he spots free man out on the left hand side and that is Darren Morrissey he's gone left back again Garrod McInerney gone back into full back picking up uh, Calder the whole time here's a chance Kevin Cooney and that one has gone wide oh after a beautiful bit of skill uh, Gerard Wade flicked the ball to the hand uh, just didn't finish you wouldn't expect him to miss him there Puck out quickly taken well read a very very alert Lenan that time making sure doesn't come to anything immediately but it might here Seamus Kennedy three Galway players are after him has a support player but in behind Seamus Calnan he might have as well have kept going yeah he could have had a shot off of his left there Terry he plenty space maybe not as confident as a forward you know as it a lot of traditional forwards he'd be better known as a halfback and he kind of a utility player now for them very effective one at that but uh, yeah that was just a pass that Jamie hadn't read or vice versa lovely pick up there while we were watching uh, Kevin Cooney a moment ago that goes long again down to the aforementioned Cooney here he is younger brother of Joseph taking on Michael Breen Breen tried to hold him out but the referee says using unfair tactics and the end result is going to be a free from the 20 meter line yeah it, it appears to be the tactic or whether it was a free or not now it, it's you know that's grappling in it all right but to isolate him one on one whether it be on Owen Connolly or Michael Breen and there's so much switching up going on there is a bit of confusion in there and he is hurling well at the moment he's playing with real confidence Kevin Cooney 19 minutes gone so far the team's sharing eight points Evan Island with two of those from Freeze angle tricky but uh, not for Evan Nyland Galway go back in front again real cat and mouse game hasn't really opened up to any great oh, extent real yet. tension in the air an awful lot to lose Jerry. You can, you can smell it up here Reese Shelley's puck out of the middle No McGrath got there holds on determined kicks it out here as far as Seamus Kennedy this time a better hand pass down into the hands of Jason Ford and Ford hits it beautifully lovely completion to that move involving three players best score of the game Joe really Noel bottled up nothing to do had to kick it out to Kennedy as you said way better pass uh, on to Ford lovely finish again to Ferrari prepared to let go we have the short puck out work it out of defence to Grealish out to Porik Mannion and Porik Mannion diagonally across over here towards Cooney looking to win this one drops down there as far as Conor Whelan and Whelan gets among the scores and that might give him a little bit of confidence to get his game going here yeah and again is that you know Porik Mannion much happier on the wing uh, brilliant crossfield ball Cooney got a hand to it didn't take a clean but uh, who was the most alert to the break was Conor Whelan and uh, maybe things are starting to open up one between them back there goes Joseph Cooney towards Ronan Glennon can't hold on to it however it's Conor Stakelham instead trying to get it forward there trying to get he does it at the second attempt as far as Alan Tynan Tynan raiding here's an opportunity there are support players Tynan takes too many steps 
Oh, and he's been told about it as well there, Jim. <laughs> but the Galway defence, uh, he should have passed that one. There was two or three options, notably Jamie Cannon, you can see with his hand up. Mark Kyo also saying put it over the top. Uh, he decided to try and cut back out onto his left to make an angle for himself. Both the Galway lads defended very well. It's a glaring error, unfortunately, from a tip point of view. Now they try to win it again here. But over to get there first is Brian Concanon out over the sideline together with Conor Stakelum. Line ball is going to be Tito Ferreri. Well, we haven't had too many goal chances so far, but that was the creation of one there involving Alan Tynan. Perhaps a little lack of experience at this level. Yeah, probably not used to being in, in as close as he was either, Jerry. You know, we've seen off that of him coming out as a kind of a turbid fielder. He's playing close to goal at the moment, so maybe that's just where he found himself. Henry Shefflin there on the sideline. Watching Porig Mania. Slip it all the way back here as far as uh, Cahill. And again, spotting the run of Kevin Cooney. Several times now he's got out ahead of his man and had an opportunity, and that's a, a poor wide at the end of all of that. Yeah, there are real chances let, been let slip by, and that is the tactic. You can see it straight from the off. This one goes down here as far as Mark Kyo. Kyo, man of the match in the game against Offaly with three goals in that game. Hammers it across towards Alan Tynan, trying to win the duel there with Gerard McInerney, and McInerney deemed to have pushed him in the back. Might have been an awful lot in it. Or no, it wasn't Mac it wasn't Tynan, it was chasing Ford. Anyway, the end result is going to be a free in. I think he's bringing it in closer as well, uh, for a bit of descent on him. Uh, Ford did really well, to be fair. It was, uh, it wasn't really a forwards ball, but he fought it out and, and uh, held off the Galway lads and wins a vital free. And now he has this opportunity to level up the match with 23 minutes gone. He wasn't ever going to miss, was he? Six apiece, level for the fifth time here in the TUS Scaly Grounds in Limerick. This is the second of the All Ireland quarterfinals. First one won by Clare. They will be playing uh, Kilkenny in the All Ireland semi final in two weeks' time. Henry Shefflin will be hoping that Galway will be there as well. Tip of other ideas. Here's Seamus Calden, raiding brilliantly. Burks after him. Calden, well blocked down by GMAC. Goalkeeper able to get to it. Anna Murphy. Well, that was a dangerous moment. Real possibilities there for Tipperary. Great defending by Galway. And now in the counter-attack, it's up with Keanon Fahey held there. And the end result has got to be a free. Well, that was real danger. It was. It was, it was a loose puck out from Anna Murphy. And Cannon had come out a little bit deep. Uh, read it superbly, got it to himself and took off. You know, maybe the legs aren't quite what they used to be. But great work by Dahi getting back. And as you said, uh, Gerard McInerney putting the body in the way. And Anna Murphy's glad to be able to pick up the pieces. So following all of that, there's an opportunity now for Galway to retake the lead. Evan Nyland, their free taker, three points so far from the middle of the park on a really nice evening, beautifully done. Such a good striker of the ball, 7.6, nearly uh, 25 minutes are gone. Puck out here, touchdown by Sean Renan for Galway. That was a vital touch to give it to Joseph Cooney. Back into the middle of the field, it comes again. Couple Mannion feeding it forward. Here's Connor Whelan. Whelan blocked down this time. And his man, Cahill Barrett, able to get that ball away and deliver it very cleverly as far as Owen Connolly, the former under 20 and 21 full back. Connolly going forward, slipping it in there. Nicely done as far as Mark Kyo. Challenge there by Darren Morrissey. Looking for a support player. Not the greatest of passes. Gave the ball away to Evan Nyla, who in turn links up with Cahill Mannion. A return ball given back to Mannion again. Looks over his shoulder, then drives it forward here for Galway. Pressure on the goal in there, but that one has gone away to the left-hand side. And another opportunity missed.